Greetings and welcome to this episode of my Unicast where I'm going to show you how to build a mobile VPN router based on OpenWRT. I made a little diagram in order for you to comprehend maybe a little bit easier what I'm trying to do. I have a laptop which I take on journeys and on holidays for example and I would like to be able to get connected to the internet of course but I would like to have some consistency with my internet uplink connection meaning there are some cornerstones I need to be fulfilled those are being shown here one key goal is that it has to be easy to use I also need to have some level of security meaning for example when I'm using an open hotspot people around me might to be able to to fetch my traffic and read passwords for example if I'm forced to use some insecure protocols I would like to rule out that kind of risks and for that I need a VPN tunnel I also need to shield my laptop from other local users the firewall inside OpenWRT will protect me from those the OpenWRT router needs to be able to connect to the internet it is not very important what kind of internet connection there is if it has IPv4 only that will suffice. The configuration of the OpenWRT router will be as flexible as it can possibly be. If I have a wired uplink, I just plug it in and there we go. If there is no wired connection, I will be using wireless connection, meaning Wi-Fi. The OpenWRT configuration will also be able to connect as a client to Wi-Fi and use those as an internet uplink. If neither of those is available, I take my mobile phone, activate the hotspot functionality and use this one as an internet uplink. My laptop can either connect to the router wirelessly or with a cable. One benefit of such a setup is that my internet connection will also result in having the same IP address on my laptop, which I like very much. And I will also be using IPv6 throughout the setup as I rely very much on IPv6 in my environments this is quite crucial to me for the VPN tunnel I'm using WireGuard if the VPN tunnel does not come up properly I shall not be able to connect to the internet meaning I do not want to appear on the internet with some random IP address but only with my IP address that's routed through the tunnel with this diagram you can understand what I'm trying to do much more easily. So I have my laptop over here and it is connected to my router either with a cable or wirelessly. And the router uses some random internet connection. It doesn't matter. It can be, as I said earlier, a cable, Wi-Fi or even my mobile hotspot. The moment the internet connection comes up, the OpenWT router will try to build the VPN tunnel to a router that's inside a data center in Germany. The router in the data center also runs OpenWRT and acts as a VPN point for my WireGuard tunnel. The traffic of my laptop is then routed through this tunnel with an IP address from the data center and then sent out to the internet and back again, of course. Let's have a look at the router configuration. One thing I have to mention is that my router is some random device I had for spare. I would really like to have a better router as the TP-Link Archer C7, which I have here, because the TP-Link on the one hand is quite big and a little bit old, and it needs some dedicated power supply. I would like to have some uh, NanoPi R2S, for example, which has two gigabit ports, and via USB I would be able to connect some wireless USB stick. Much more important is that I would be able to plug the NanoPi into my laptop and power it up with the USB connection so there is no dedicated power supply necessary. But for now this device will do and let's have a look at my interfaces section. So this is quite special, it's not a stock configuration of course and let's head over to the devices section. You can see that there is not only a bridge device for my LAN clients but there is also a bridge device for my WAN connection. 
which is quite uncommon for our OpenWRT configuration. You can see that the bridge ports is currently, this is the WAN port, the dedicated um, blue port on the device. And let's head over to the interfaces section. You can see that I have WAN and WAN6 and I have WVAN and WVAN6. And this is because I prepared some wireless connection in advance. So this is the connection that would be used if my mobile phone acted as a hotspot. In case I would like to connect to some different Wi-Fi connection, I would need to add some extra configuration over here. And since I can scan the local networks, I would be able to add some different Wi-Fi connection quite easily. This radio connection is then also bridged to the WAN bridge. All the WAN ports are being set up with DHCP. And for my LAN connection, I set up some generic IPv4 address and a dedicated IPv6 range. Of course, I also set up some DHCP server only with a small range because I do not plan to install many clients to my router. And for DHCP v6, I set it to server mode. And not only that, but I also set up static DHCP lease. As you can see here, this is my demo system. And together with this DUID, I will also get this IP address. So no matter where I am in the internet, I will also get this IP address. Don't bother, this is only for demonstration purposes. I will not be using this in a field. Next, we're going to look into the firewall section. I have three different zones. There is, of course, the WAN zone, there is the LAN zone, and there is the tunnel zone. As you can see here, the LAN clients will only be able to get access to the tunnel zone. So there is no access to the WAN zone, meaning if there is no VPN connection up and running, I will not have internet as a client. What's also different from stock configuration is that the tunnel will have masquerading set up. This only affects IPv4 connections, so no surprises there. Again, in the interfaces section, here is my tunnel configuration. Let's open that. As you can see over here, this is my VPN tunnel IP addresses within the tunnel for the router. And here is my peer configuration. So the, the OpenWRT mobile VPN router builds up a VPN connection to this endpoint on this port and the allowed IPs are, well, all the internet IP. This is quite an important piece of configuration because this will install routes. So every traffic is running through the tunnel. I need to mention that I am very lucky to have a dedicated firewall in a data center in Germany paired with static IP addresses. You might want to use some alternative if you don't have such a dedicated router. There are different options. You might use your home router to act as the VPN endpoint, but uh, you probably won't have static IP addresses there too. The next best option might be to use some generic VPN provider. Let's try to see if this works. I will disconnect my regular internet uplink at my computer right now. I am connected to my local command line and I am trying to have a look at what my IP configuration looks like. This is the interface that's directly connected to my mobile VPN router and I will try to see if I I'm able to reach the internet via IPv4 and I do and this time with IPv6 and it's also working so I actually was able to connect to my router and the router was able to get some internet connection on top of that he built up the VPN tunnel and now my client is actually tunneling all the data through this very VPN connection and getting through to the internet. I suggest you try it yourself. Build such a setup with some device you have for spare or buy some device. There is a sophisticated list on openwrt.org on what devices might be a good fit for you. And since openwrt also is able to handle different kinds of VPN setups, 
You don't have to use WireGuard, of course, but you might also be using IPsec or maybe OpenVPN or even some different tunnel like Tink in order to get through to some router in the internet for your tunnel to have an endpoint. I hope you like my idea. If you also try to build yourself a similar setup, you can get professional help from me as I'm running my own little business at libcom.de, which stands for Library Communications. Just try to get in touch with me. There is, of course, uh, contact information on the webpage. I can also give you remote hands support or just some advice on how to build such a setup. So I hope you liked my video. Take care of you guys. Bye bye.